Perhaps no aspect of the climate change issue stirs as much passion and controversy as Alberta's oil sands. Canada's oil sands are one of the most incredibly dirty processes on Earth. The scale is quite unimaginable. The oil sands every day uses as much natural gas to, to heat the water, to separate the oil from the sand, as six million homes. It uses as much water as the city of Edmonton and Calgary combined. We're producing 300 million liters a day of toxic sludge into open, unlined pits. Scientists tell us they're leaking up to 11 million liters of toxic substances a day into our groundwater, into our wild rivers. As an environmentalist, I worry for the reasons of climate change. How do we reconcile the need to quickly move off of fossil fuels like oil and coal at the same time that we're quickly massively increasing our investments and the exploitation of the tar sands? All across this country, we are doing our part. We're walking to work, we're turning down our thermostat, we're trying to help address this issue of global warming. Yet Canada's pollution emission rates are going up, not down. And the, the majority of the reasons is the growth of the oil sands. We risk locking ourselves into a high carbon future rather than spending that uh, investment in the low carbon future, like renewables, like energy efficiency and other sources. I think these policies are in place because we have governments that are heavily influenced by a small number of particularly important industries and they forget the overall costs of these to Canadians overall. The controversy burns especially hot in Alberta, where many lives depend on the jobs and bustling economy the oil sands have created. When people say dirty oil, it's like, I think it's mean. They help out small, small businesses, it's really good. It's great for the kids here. It's a good future for everybody. Uh, they've given me a job and uh, a lot of other people. Any industrial uh, development is going to have environmental impacts. Um, driving, driving to work this morning had an environmental impact. The lifestyle of our species has environmental impacts. So people bring up issues, and those are legitimate issues, but they reach premature conclusions where there's not enough evidence. So it becomes scaremongering and propaganda, and I think people have to realize that the industry is on top of those issues. We take those issues seriously, and we want good independent science to make sure we respond appropriately. Where do we draw the line? Do we continue to uh, keep our eyes closed, keep our mouth shut? Do we continue to uh, make our livings? Uh, or do we actually think about the future? When we come back, the single most important step you'll ever take to reduce global warming. 